in the recent years, I have been doing more and more of religious paintings. In the past, I was heavily focused on figurative painting and also portraiture. All the experience and trainings I received, it serves as the backbone for my religious paintings. Visual art is a really powerful tool to communicate with people. As an artist, I must use this gift to share the gospel with the people. My name is Zumu Tan. First of all, I would like to thank you to Paul from the Religious Art Academy to invite me to share uh, my artwork with everybody. This is a painting I started a few years ago, actually. It is not yet completed, but uh, is, it is about 60% done. There are still more work to do. This is inspired by the skit play at the school I am teaching. I am also be part of at this moment. Annually, there are people who participate in this event. One of our school members will be chosen to play as Jesus, and the people um, will walk up to the hill, and Jesus will carry the cross, go up to the hill. Of course, they are not dressing like what you are looking at in this painting. This painting, I did a lot of research how the dress codes uh, during that era and also um, as you can see I have added more children into the picture. Uh, that's a symbolic meaning which is not truly um, following exactly how the Bible will describe. Uh, kind of a, I recreated a little bit uh, with the idea which is symbolic idea as the youth will come carry the cross with Jesus Christ. In this painting, I was kind of uh, um, looking into the subject matter to see how I can push the concept forward to the, to the maximum. It is one of the most complex pieces I have ever created, and this is not yet done, as I said. Um, Many areas still could be more refined and also um, during the process sometimes I will add and subtract things on the painting. Not necessarily the painting you see now, it is going to be exactly how it looks like when it is finished. So um, my process is, is quite flexible. As you can see many of the uh, subject right here, but yet there are not totally completely finished. That means I still have more room to navigate and also to do more adjustment on top. Uh, personally, uh, many of my work, I do not paint Jesus with as a portrait, uh, front view, look, looking directly to the audience. To me, I have yet face to face, looking at Jesus' face, but yet, I kind of have an idea who Jesus, uh, he really is. So, a lot of times, I try to use not to kind of uh, really pinpoint how you look like. Uh, instead, uh, I would suggest an image for people who have room to imagine, inviting people to come in. Um, Kind of a look at it, the artwork, and at the same time, uh, you would have a little more connection to it, I believe. Instead of uh, looking at the painting, describe totally who Jesus is, which is I have not yet personally meeting Jesus face to face, uh, physically, but maybe spiritually, I do have connection with Jesus, but at the same time, as I said, I never face to face look at him one on one. So um, I'm not going to to do a painting yet. Maybe in the future that uh, if I feel strong enough that 
I can do a portrait of Jesus, uh, maybe I will change my mind. But at this point, uh, either the image of the uh, face is qu quite small or the back is facing the audience or uh, Jesus' head is casting in the shadow. Um, many times I do like to leave room for people to kind of uh, um, using their imaginations. So uh, as I always think that the way that how a, a math can, simple math can actually describe some of the work that I create or the lecture that I give out to students. At the beginning, I do give out lecture as one plus one is two. Easy answer, right? Give out everything for the uh, student or the viewer. They can actually understand exactly what I mean. Uh, it's hundred percent is for me, telling people uh, how to look at the artwork and also how to connect with the artwork. The second approach, which is sometimes I use uh, one plus what is two. So leave a little bit of imagination to the viewer to uh, to come in, invite them to come in. At least pause for a second. Have their imagine imagination to come in, um, combining with what I'm presenting. So not always showing everything, but as I said, I like the way that how uh, let people be involved, and how people can actually be connected to Jesus. Art itself is a really powerful tool, and it can have a really strong impact to people. Even the people don't understand the language, maybe they are literate, but when they can see the picture, as long as can, they can see, they can help a certain impact to the memory. So if the artwork is strong enough, I believe it will leave a mark in their arm. Um... While I was working on this painting, I didn't realize I was heavily influenced by one of my favorite painter, Ilya Ripin. This is a painting created by Ilya Ripin. I saw this painting a long time ago. I didn't realize unconsciously I was influenced. This is an example of what I mean by a powerful image can leave a mark in people's memory. When Paul asked me to join with this sharing, I tried to find a painting that is appropriate to share to fit with the topic. In this painting, I was heavily focused on the narrative of the painting. A painting carry a strong narrative usually can catch people's attention and also they can remember the painting much, much stronger. By combining the technical approach, the artwork, I believe, it can make some impact for people and receive the uh, message. A painter and a writer are similar. We use our favorite medium to express what we want to tell and how people can receive the meaning of our creations. Another way to use art to introduce Jesus to the uh, people, I think Paul is doing a good job. Um, Paul have gathered many artists to join together. We have uh, different um, specialties and also um, with a similar goal. Um, a single person can only do so much. I believe that with the string of many gather, it would be much more powerful and also can be more benefit to the people who might be interested to learn about Jesus Christ. Thank you once again for the opportunity allowing me to share my work with everybody. I hope this sharing is beneficial to the other believers and non-believers. God bless.